Eyewitness News is tracking new developments in the Massachusetts drug lab scandal. The chemist who admitted to fudging drug test results in thousands of criminal cases has been arrested. Annie Dukin was taken into custody today at her Franklin home. Dukin was charged with obstruction of justice and pretending to hold a college degree. She admitted to state police she faked drug test results, forging signatures and mixing samples at the state drug lab. That lab was shut down by Governor Deval Patrick last month and thousands of drug prosecutions are now put into jeopardy, including many in Bristol County. And today, one man's attempt to use the case to get out of jail after two years was denied by a judge. Highway to Suzu Porter Renee Canuos, who joins us now live from the newsroom with the latest developments on the case and the drug lab scandal. Well, Mike and Jennifer, Nathan Martin's drug case is one of an estimated 4,000 drug cases in Bristol County thrown into the mess of this drug lab scandal, and that did not affect the judge's decision. Your Honor, we filed a motion to modify Mr. Martin's bail. New Bedford resident Nathan Martin has been in jail since 2010. That's when a police raid uncovered 122 grams of heroin at Martin's home. The heroin allegedly belonging to Martin was tested by Annie Dukin, a former chemist at the state drug lab. She allegedly admitted to falsifying test results, altering drug weights, and forging signatures. She has since resigned in the wake of the drug scandal. And now Martin's attorney filed a motion to reduce his $25,000 bail. How do we know she did not go in there and touch my client's drugs and mix them with something? We don't. Now, I don't know what motivated her to do this, but I don't think that Nate, guys like Nathan Martin should be paying the price for it. You know, I wasn't asking for his case to be dismissed today. I was asking that he be released, you know, on personal um, or a reasonable amount of bail. In this particular case, uh, the Ms. Dukum was the secondary chemist, meaning she did not initially test the cases and provide the sample that was tested. In addition, I laid out based on his record uh, and other factors, we didn't think it was appropriate at this time to reduce the bail. Both sides made their arguments in Superior Court Friday, but Judge Thomas McGuire didn't budge on his decision. Martin will continue to be held on $25,000 cash bail. And though the judge did not waver on his decision about bail, he did ask prosecutors to bring the case to trial sooner. So he is now asking for a pretrial conference on November 15th. The trial set to begin in December. Live in the newsroom, Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.